Hi everyone, this is Fabio from Anime Chat Reviews, and today we're looking at Toradora. Let's get into it. If you're looking for a great comedy that also tackles surprisingly in-depth themes on the nature of love and relationships, Toradora may be the anime you've been missing. Before I start, I just want to say that if you disagree with anything I'm about to say, or just want to let us know your opinion on Toradora, please feel free to add a comment below. Toradora is a slice-of-life romantic comedy starring Ryuji Takasu and Taiga Aisaka. Through chance, Ryuji finds out that Taiga has a crush on his best friend Yusaku Kitamura, and Taiga finds out that Ryuji has a crush on her best friend Minori Kushida. After this discovery, the pair decide to help each other out by setting each other up with their respective crushes. What follows includes a beachside haunting, a wrestling main event, and a seriously weird talking bird as the characters experience life, relationships, and what it means to need someone. Toradora Dora starts off feeling as if it's just a generic slice of life rom-com, but instead what I found was a surprisingly introspective story with characters that are significantly deeper and more interesting than your average anime. The really impressive part is how it managed to have such strong emotional impact while still having many consistently laugh out loud comedy moments. The plot itself is your standard slice of life rom-com affair. There are summer trips, cultural events, winter festivals, and various hijinks that ensue. Where Toradora stands apart from other slice of life anime though is in its handling of tropes and themes. While it often feels as if it's leading itself into a cliché trope-filled arc, it then subverts those expectations, leaving the viewer guessing as to what will actually happen. These subversions are humorous and show a self-awareness of the tropes existing, poking fun at the trope itself in a clever manner. You also wouldn't expect a slice-of-life anime to have fight scenes that actually rival shonen anime. But at the end of the day, Toradora uses its plot as a vehicle to drive home its themes, asking the viewer what is love? What is platonic friendship? What does it mean to be an adult? It's not an understatement to say that Toradora stands out because of its characters. Every character seems to be there to fill a specific trope initially. For example, Taiga at first glance might appear as nothing but a Sundari character, or Minori who initially appears to fill the role of the aggressively happy sidekick. Toradora starts to shine as it explores these characters, and demonstrates a level of complexity and introspection that isn't frequently seen in other slice-of-life anime. Ryuji, one of the two primary protagonists has a mistaken reputation for being a delinquent. This is because he was born with an intimidating appearance due to inheriting his father's eyes. He's so intimidating to those that don't know him, he's often shunned and feared. He lives with his single mother who works as a hostess at night. Because of this, Ryoji learned to be very self-reliant, taking care of both himself and his mother by learning to cook and clean. This is emphasized in scenes during the anime as it appears Ryuji's self-reliance has developed into full-blown obsession territory. Taiga is Ryuji's classmate and our other protagonist. She's someone who hates the company of others aside from her best friend Minori. This is because Taiga is actually equally feared among her classmates as Ryuji is. Despite being 4 foot 8 in height, Taiga is often aggressive to people that bother her and isn't afraid to punch anyone that tries to look down on her. As a result, Taiga has developed a reputation among her classmates as the Palm Top Tiger. Despite this reputation, she's a bit of a klutz and tends to be incredibly awkward around her crutch, Yusaku. We then have Minori. She's Taiga's only friend and Ryuji's crush. She's captain of the girls' softball team and works several jobs she likes to keep busy. She's very energetic, happy, and positive, while occasionally coming across as a bit of an airhead. Our next character of note is Yusaku. He is Ryuji's only friend and conversely Taiga's crush. He wears glasses, is part of the student council, and is captain of the boys' softball club. He's a diligent and perceptive person who's popular with the girls in his class despite him feeling like he's not good at talking to girls. Last but not least, we have Amy Kaboshima. She is Yusaku's childhood friend. She's a magazine model who recently transferred to their school. Despite Despite appearing sweet, endearing, and making herself look like an airhead, Amy is actually extremely arrogant and looks down on anyone that she isn't trying to impress at the time. Toradora at this point is over 10 years old, but the age doesn't show nearly as much as you'd expect it to. While the animation itself does run the gambit between having moments where there were clearly budget constraints to very detailed and fluid animations, it picks and chooses these moments very carefully. As a result, it's able to use its animation to convey minute shifts in thought and personality for the characters. It does a fantastic job of just conveying emotion and story through small facial animations and helps set the tone just as much as the dialogue and music. It should also be noted that in shots involving groups of people, such as extras, the anime goes out of its way to draw bystanders in. This is a surprising level of detail considering the popularity in most other anime of just having bystanders be represented by vague blob people or sometimes those CG copy paste models. 
The soundtrack is very high quality. The opening intros in particular are very catchy without being obnoxious or annoying. The soundtrack for the episodes themselves is used to equally great effect. The music used for dramatic moments matches the tone of the scenes perfectly, and it ends up feeling like a literal manifestation of what the characters are feeling. Also of note is the implementation of silence. Torador isn't afraid to have moments of utter silence to make points when necessary, and the silence helps lend a greater impact to the dramatic moments. Toradora excels at telling a thoughtful, introspective story on the nature of relationships, while still having comedy and lighthearted moments that land constantly. Though at times the animation can seem a little rough or dated, but not to a degree that would be noticed on a first view. It is an absolute must watch and Toradora deserves an S rank. There are few anime that can manage to juggle comedy and themes of emotional discovery nearly as well as Toradora, let alone managing it in such an intricate and detailed way. Toradora not only manages, but excels and deserves to be remembered as one of the all-time greats. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please share your thoughts on Toradora in the comments below. And if you can, it would be amazing if you could like and subscribe as it helps us out a ton. I hope to see you all in the next video. Arrivederci.